All right. So it's been uh, it's been a couple weeks. I don't know if you remember last time. Um, we had a pretty good uh, pretty good amount of honey in here, um, just on the on the second box. Um, so two weeks ago, I had to go away for for work, so added a third box and kind of staggered the the drawn out comb um, with new frames in in the uh, the second and third box there. So so it's been two weeks. They've been really active. Um, they're just they've just been coming and going like crazy um, all day every day and um, you can still smell the goldenrod honey the strong strong smell in the backyard um, and you can see the goldenrod all around so yeah I know there's still a flow on so so let's take a look inside and see if I have to start building more boxes it's a really calm day here, so I'm trying to use the least amount of smoke as I can because it's just hanging in the air and not dissipating, so I don't want to fill my whole backyard with smoke. Oh, okay. Okay. So, actually... This whole top box I might just take right off because um, I'm actually a little bit surprised that I'm not seeing any, uh, let, me, let me show you here. Okay, so they're starting to dry out a little bit. But as you can see down there, like the uh, the empty frames that I put in this one hasn't been they haven't drawn them out like as fast as they did uh, about three or four weeks ago. So, but they're in here. And, um, well, you know what? Let's take a peek over here. Yeah, look at that, huh? On the other side, it's pretty much all, all capped. Oh, and you can, here, take a little peek. Get some more comb going in there. So that one's uh, a foundationless frame. It's a little off-center. But not too bad. So they're drawing that out. I'm gonna put this guy back, and then we'll uh, we'll take a look at the uh, second box. All right, so their production definitely slowed down a bit. Let's show you where they've gone. So that's within the last two weeks. Um, These two frames were drawn out. They're drawn out really far. Um, probably because the frames in between them had no foundation. calmer today, even though it's cooler today. And okay, let's see, I think this one was empty.
as of a couple weeks ago. And I think these, I'm feeling some, like they, they, they might have built some burr comb in between the, the brood nest, the, the deep in the bottom there, and the, and this guy, because the frames aren't sliding as easily, they're getting hung up on something. Let me pull this one out and we'll take a look and see what it looks like. So yeah, that was, uh, that was over the last two weeks. Let's see what else we got in there. Yeah, and this one too. One down here. Two of these next to each other are uh, both empty, so we'll place one of these with a full one up here so that this one's alternating too. Alright, so I'm going to do that, turn off the camera while I do, and then um, I might do a quick inspection of the brood nest and then move on to the next hive. So here's proof that we have a queen still. And where'd she go? And she's right there towards the top. Let's see if I can adjust the. Where'd she go? There she is. Moving around, looking healthy. So there's, um, so we're in the brood nest now. This is like the, uh, the dead center of it, and um, there's not a lot of, uh, not a ton of brood left in here. I, it, maybe what I'm seeing here, these cappings are, are brood. The wax is a lot darker than I've, I've been used to seeing. <clears throat> I think. Um, I'm seeing a lot of pollen stored up too. Definitely a lot of honey. And it's funny because they haven't, they still haven't, um, in this, in this bottom box here, they still haven't, uh, drawn out the end frames. They're still, um, <laughs> Hardly drawn out, I'll show you. This was a uh, second in from... Oh, I got some honey stored there. It's kind of drawn out, but it's the reverse. And then the um, very end. did not even any bees on it. <laughs> so, it's, it's, it's interesting. They, they, they do go like straight up like a chimney before they... Uh, before they even fill out the rest of the box that they're in first. So. We've got a healthy looking queen running around. We've got some some brood in there it looks like. Not a ton. Let's see what's on this frame. Pretty good amount of bees I think. Heavier. So it's 
see, what do we got? We got mostly all honey, it looks like. And some pollen. I don't see really any, any brood on this one, so maybe they slowed down. Maybe the queen has slowed down her laying already for the winter. I don't know exactly where they should be at at this point. But I don't think they're doing too bad. It's getting it's getting hard to, to get <laughs> it's getting hard to get in here without just getting covered in bees. Alright, so I'm gonna um show you what I'm working with here. Just, just a lot of them. So I'm going to uh, just check these these last couple here. Um, it doesn't look like they've really done much. Um, I'm gonna close it back up and we'll be done. We'll go to the next one and see if uh, the weaker hive. This is um, this is blackberry again. This hive's been doing a lot better than than firewood. So let's see firewood next and. Uh, they've made any progress. Alright, so real quick because I'm on a low battery now. Um, you can see that... Ah, just got stung a little bit in my finger, I think. You can see that um, the, uh, the honey here is it's a lot lighter colored. I think this is mostly syrup that they're storing. So it's good that I'm still feeding them because apparently they're, they're taking it. And, but if you look... Um, still, these guys still haven't figured out how to build straight comb, but, but there's my wired frame job in there from earlier in the year, so I guess you can't blame them. That was all wonky to begin with, so. Um, so they got some, they got some capped honey in here. They do have some stores, um, but, um, not that much, and they're not moving nearly as fast as the other hive. I think they're probably drawing out some comb on this last frame here. But yeah, that's it for the second box. I'm going to go do an a, uh, inspection of the brood because it's been, been a while. Um, so I'm going to take this box off and, and take a peek real quick. And uh, hopefully see the queen, get her on camera so, so we can uh, see how she's doing. So yeah, um... We got an end frame that wasn't even drawn out. We got what I can only describe as abandoned comb. Um, see, there's a little bit down there that they had started. Yeah. Let me show you. So I got, you know, like a little bit of honey, but look. It's all just empty comb, probably from, from when they were robbed. Um, there is some brood in here, various stages. Take a peek, I don't know if this is a good pattern or not. Or if it indicates there's something wrong. It looks kind of spotty to me, but... This hive's always been kind of weird. Not a very strong hive. I'm gonna uh, get in here and then take a look at the center frames. And see, look, the, the end frame here, I don't know if you can see, it's not even uh, hardly drawn out. I don't think there's anything in it. Yeah, um, my thought now is that combining them. It might just disrupt the, the good hive that's, that's been doing so well. So maybe I'll just let these guys see how they fare this winter. Um, I mean, I think they're probably going to just die off, but... Um, but I don't see this contributing much to the other hive. Uh, the comb's wonky. Uh, they're just 
they got one thing going for them, and that's the, they're so calm. But but that's probably because they're weak too. I just saw. I'm standing here. Just saw a yellow jacket actually just like fly right into the hive, checking stuff out, totally unimpeded. <laughs> Which you know they should have been trying to fight fight him off. But um, so yeah, I know, I, this you know this was the first one. It's from the package. I had to requeen. Uh, they got robbed. Um, they they're not storing too much honey in the bottom, but they they have stored some frames up above them. So that's uh, that's good, I guess. Um, I wonder if the smaller, the medium-sized box has something to do with how much brood that they have versus the the deep. Um, that'd be interesting to know. But um, yeah, I mean this one. Might just be an experiment, and we'll just, um, just see what happens to them. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about the brood pattern, indicating maybe they have some kind of diseases going on. Um, so I think my next step is going to have to be doing a mite count, and then some mite treatment before this winter. And I think that's it's going to be like in the next week or two. Um, so some some actual things we'll be doing uh, some some testing and some possible treatments, not just not just poking around and looking. Um, so in the next few weeks, stay tuned for that. That'll be exciting, <laughs> or not. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get in here and take a look at the last uh, couple frames in the middle here. If I see the queen, I'll, I'll try to get a quick shot on film. Of course, right after I said that, I got into the heart of the, the nest here and saw some uh, some decent, actually, uh, a brood pattern and brood at various stages. Um, a lot of defensive behavior too, which was interesting. So I had a lot of them fly right up and you know headbutt me, try to get me out of there, um, which I hadn't seen from this hive so much before. So, who knows? I It's just a small hive. You know, they, they're a little bit behind. Maybe they'll rally and, and store enough for the winter. Looks like they're still still reproducing. Um, yeah, the center of this doesn't look, doesn't look too bad. They seem a lot healthier than they did uh, at the one point, so we'll see. We'll keep watching, and uh, I'll keep... Uh, Keep making videos and keep you updated how they're how they're doing. So we'll see. Um, that's it for this week. Uh, stay tuned for next few weeks. Um, like I said, we'll be doing some treatments, probably um, at least some testing for mites, and um, talking about uh, getting ready for winter because the cold's coming. All right, that's it for this week. Thanks. Bye bye.